Hello viewers and welcome to today's e-class. So today we want to, to drive the three equations of linear motion. Those are the three Newton's uh, equations of linear motion. V equals u plus 80. We want to show that V equals u plus 80. S equals ut plus half t squared. And we want also to show that V squared equals u squared plus 2. Yes. Remember those are the three equations of uh, linear motion. So we want to prove whether indeed uh, those equations are valid. So we start with the first equation V equals U plus 80. So from definition, from definition, acceleration is equals change in velocity divided by change in time. From definition. Uh, we know acceleration is a change in velocity divided by change in time, and that means final velocity minus initial divided by time. Uh, final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time. So if we cross multiply here, then at equals final minus initial. And then we bring you this side, then it becomes v equals u. When you come to this side, it will be positive plus 80. Remember, addition has no order. In other words, 2 plus 3 is the same as 3 plus 2, so addition has no order. So when you bring you this side, it becomes positive, so it will be u plus 80. So that's uh, the first equation. So we derive the second equation here. I want to derive uh, the second equation. So we know displacement. Displacement is given by average velocity times time. Why are we saying average velocity? Remember these three equations apply for a body that is moving with non-uniform speed, meaning the body is either accelerating or decelerating. For example, when a car is stopping, when a car is starting to move from stationary, that means it is accelerating decelerating so that means the velocity is not constant so if you want to get distance displacement we are taking the average of the velocities because velocity is varying uh, the average of the velocity times time so what we are seeing now but but we are not from the equation uh, the, the Newton's first equation here v is equals u plus 80 from the first equation here that means where we have v we replace by u plus 80. So in this case, we have s is equals u plus v will be u plus 80 divided by 2 uh, times t. u plus 80, we have replaced uh, where we have uh, v. That means this one will be 2u plus 80 divided by 2 times t. If you multiply inside by t, s will be 2u times t is 2ut divided by 2, it will be ut, because this one is 2ut divided by 2, so it will be u of ut, then at squared divided by 2, so it will be a half at squared, because it is 80 times t, which is at squared, then divided by 2. So that is now the second equation, that is the second equation of uh, uh, Newton's uh, second equation. So we have proved the first one and the second one. We have separated uh, from the equation of displacement, where we are saying displacement is average velocity times time for a body that is accelerating or decelerating. Then we are saying V is equals U plus 80 from Newton's first equation. So we are replacing the value of V here. So we go to the third equation. So again we know S, displacement is the average velocity, average velocity times time. Because this is a body that is accelerating or, or decelerating, so displacement is average velocity times time. But this time now, we are going to replace time. This time around we are going to replace time. So we know acceleration, but acceleration is equal to V minus U. Uh, all over t. That means time from here. That means uh, time is equals 
B minus U all over A. From this equation here, if you multiply here, it will be A T equals B minus U, then divide by A both sides. So time is B minus U divided by A. So where we have time here now, we are going to replace it with B minus U all over A. So and this one now becomes S equals U plus B all over 2 times time will be B minus U all over A. B minus U all over A. So we can expand this equation. U times B U B U times negative U minus U squared V times U plus B squared V times negative U minus UV, then divided by 2 times A, 2A, divided by 2A. So in that case now, in that case you realize positive UV will cancel negative UV. Positive UV will cancel negative UV, and that uh, we are making now with S is equal to, uh, remember this is a minus U squared plus G squared. So that's like saying minus 3 plus 2. So that one has no order, so we can start with the positive one. So it will be b squared, then minus u squared divided by 2a, b squared minus u squared uh, divided by 2a. So we multiply, uh, every, we cross multiply here by a, by 2a this side. We cross multiply here, so that means v squared is equals, this one will be 2as, then we bring you this side, v squared is equals u squared my, uh, plus 2as. If you multiply here, it will be 2as, positive 2as, then we bring you this side, so it will be 2as plus u squared. So when you, uh, that means uh, v squared is equals u squared plus 2as, whatever you have said here, this one is 2as, then you bring you this side, it becomes positive again, so v squared equals u squared plus 2as, and that is now how we write the linear terms equation of linear motion, remember we have said for the first equation, you just drive it from definition of acceleration, then for the second equation, we drive it, uh, since we know as a distance is an uh, average velocity times time, for a body that is accelerating, so we, we simply replace the value of b by u plus at. So we replace b, but for the third equation, we replace t. Whereby we are saying t, since acceleration is b minus u over t, so uh, we make t the subject here by cross multiplying, so it will be b minus u over a, which is now t. That means uh, we replace the value of t with b minus u over a, then you work with your math, you apply now your mathematical skills, and then you are able to get the three equations. So today we have been able to prove the three equations are uh, Newton's equations of linear motion. You can look for examples and do, and for also remember to follow uh, the e-learning classroom and subscribe so that you can get subsequent videos. Thank you, viewers.